Hello guys and welcome back to another video where today we are going to be taking on F1 open ranked lobbies for the very first time ever. I don't know what this is going to entail but we'll see how we get on but I do want to say a massive apologies for the lack of a webcam and my facial expressions and all that that you see in my streams that I do. Unfortunately it got corrupted unfortunately. So I do apologise, but hopefully we should get it up in the next couple of episodes time. But we're going to see how this goes, guys, as an opening episode of a little mini series I like to do on the open lobbies, guys. So if you guys want to get featured in any of the open lobbies I do in my live streams, then make sure to go and check it out, guys. But unfortunately, as you may have noticed by the title of this video, I kind of forgot to put a setup on. So we are running with a baseline set for our first proper race here at Bahrain in the daytime so apologies as well for the quality as well it's not particularly the greatest but I was tweaking it on Streamlabs so I do apologise as we have an almighty lock up into turn 1 I've already bottled the lap already but I wasn't really sure if it was actually going to be quick enough I have not done this I don't know what the pace of the guys that are in this lobby are here uh, I think there's about 10 of us in here so I wasn't really expecting much but we are in the Toro Rosso for this race and uh, possibly one of the best sounding cars in the game so I was looking forward to driving this, but we'll see how we get on. As uh, again, a little bit of a twitch, but we went a little bit wide, but we kept it within the track. So, something that I can do properly and not bottle every lap, but we'll see how we get on. Still got half a lap to go, but it's not too bad if we just take it very cautiously into the double left hander. No lock up, which is actually a miracle for me because I always do it at that corner. But down the back straight then, using the DRS, of course, uh, one of two positions on the circuit here and the main straight, of course. But breaking to probably one of the most difficult parts of the lap, I have to say, from previous experiences around here. But going through the fast right hand, as you can see, taking it nice and flat there. It's a decent sector as well, but obviously we bottled the first sector. So I wasn't really going into the end of this lap thinking I would get pole position, but we shall see. We've got plenty of time left as we go into the final corner then. A difficult corner to get right for us. But we just break it down again, taking it a little bit cautious there. A little bit of a twitch there, going mid corner, which we had to correct. But coming up to the line, is this going to be pole? It would be a shock, and it is indeed pole position, even with an almighty lockup into turn one. I don't know how I did it, but we did it anyway. But that was going to be our first pole of the series, guys, in our first race. And so it just shows you guys, if you bottle it, you're still going to get pole position, which was absolutely a shock to me when I saw that. So... Either way, we'll take it and uh, we get some cheeky uh, points here. Of course, level 7 because I've been doing some open lobbies with you guys on the live streams, which you guys can go and check out uh, when I do. They'll be on the weekends most likely, so make sure to check them out. But you can see there, we've got on pole by nearly four attempts from a Haas car from the United States of America. But anyway, we're going to go onto the grid then for the race. And I wasn't really looking forward to this, if I was going to be completely honest with you. I was expecting dive bombs galore from the pack in this race because I know open lobbies can cause carnage from all the streams we've done over the game cycles on Co-Masters. We know what's going to happen anyway into turn one but I was just hoping to take it easy but you're about to find out what happened to me at the start of this race but anyway we are away here in Bahrain and it's an absolute shocker as you can clearly see we've had a Red Bull and a Mercedes completely slap us and then we're going to force India as well taking this into turn one but I thought open lobbies and yeah my plan was to go wide, but unfortunately I got taken off the circuit by the pass, and apparently I got a penalty for it. So, I don't know why that is, but we've got to get on with it anyway, as we have to be fighting now with Implifying, and we've got someone on our inside there going for a late lunge, but we just slap him around the outside easily in the Ferrari from You Know Me. Probably a weird name to have, but anyway. As uh, we've got an issue with this Haas, as you can clearly see, he's going to be lagging everywhere, front, right, and centre. That's going to be a massive distraction in this Grand Prix. But it's only five laps, so not a long race. But uh, if you guys want to see more of these, then please feel free to slap a like on this. And if you want to get featured in that, then uh, make sure to let me know. And I'll get you guys involved. But a little bit of a tank slapper there. But of course, we can't use any of our ERs because it's automatic in this uh, these ranked lobbies. So unfortunately, we won't have any privileges of uh, running max hot lap mode for all of the track. But... Who cares? We've just got to get on with it. But you can see the top three are putting away. But of course, we know two of them are most likely going to be having penalties and driving into the pit lane for a drive through. As so you get a little bit of a slap contact there from the Ferrari behind us. But we're just keeping it there on our baseline set, as I mentioned, of course. And uh, it was a little bit awkward of me to forget to put a setup on. But you can clearly show you as the Ferrari does an almighty send into the last corner. And we had to give him the position. 
Otherwise, it would have been carnage. As you can see, the three cars going in for their drive throughs As you can see, now we've got another laggy Haas there. And one thing I didn't notice there, why is there a plane flying over turn one? That's very odd. We'll go for a send into one, but the Ferrari holds it nicely around the outside. So, bad play to him holding that up there. But anyway, we just got to get on with it, really. We've just got to really push now. Going up the gears quickly as well. Got to keep an eye on fuel as well, because, of course, this is Bahrain. Very high consumption on fuel in the Grand Prix, of course, in career mode. So we've had a little bit of issue with fuel, but we've just got to get on with it. But anyway, this middle sector I was pretty confident in, in the race, I have to say. As we're just trying to go first, the Ferrari goes for a send there on the Haas, and he does go side by side and gets the job done. A little bit aggressive, but I'll let you guys decide on that in the comments section of the video to let me know. As we have a little bit of a cheeky lock up there, and the top three are all fighting away as the Mercedes went very, very wide and broke late into the double left hander. And I was thinking here, these guys are going to crash. We're just going to have to let them fight it against each other. As you can clearly see, there goes one of them, and there goes two of them. They're out the race, and here comes the Mercedes, and he clips the curb, and he spins right in front of me. Luckily, avoid the contact there, and we get the lead of the Grand Prix, but it's not over yet, of course, because we've got that, that penalty from... I don't know what it was at the, at the start of the race. I was literally fuming at this point going into the into this after turn one. And the guy that took us out as well is right behind us as well into turn one. That gave us that penalty for no blooming reason. But we just got to have to go for it. We get the fastest lap of the race though, which is a cheeky 31 flat. Not the quickest lap in the world, as I know a lot of OP esports drivers will know. As we go for a send there from the Haas, but he is trying to pin me here. But of course, he can't slap me that easily as we hold on to that position for the lead of the Grand Prix. But we've only got at least three laps to go to try and pull a gap enough to hold on with that penalty included. Someone has, has basically just given up. He's too slow for this lobby. But anyway, carried on anyway. And uh, we've got to get to a second, so it's not too bad. We've got to keep an eye on the Ferrari as well of Ibrez as well. He's five seconds away, but if he gets some good slapping good times in... He could be in for a shot of victory today, but we'll wait and see. As uh, at the minute, we're just taking it cautiously here through the double left-hander, but we're starting to pull away a little bit. You just see then the little mirror there in the bottom left-hand corner that we are putting away slightly tad, tad gaps, I have to say, from the Haas of Implifying as well. But we're just taking it a little bit cautious. We don't want to make mistakes that the Mercedes did a minute ago, one lap ago, by spinning on the curb. So I was just avoiding that inside curb as much as possible and less steering input as well because... In the past, we've had issues at this corner, uh, but uh, having too much steering input, we lose the back end. As you can see already, we're already in the negative red already in the fuel, which is not what I want. So I know I had to save fuel, which is not what I wanted to do, as, as you guys know. I'm not a fuel saver, I'm a fuel burner. But anyway, we can see the gap now is it's pulled on nicely, actually, I've got to say. Decent, consistent lap of a 31.4, and the gap's already up to two seconds already. So we gained nearly a second on that lap, and again, can someone explain to me why there's a plane at Bahrain, which is a little bit odd flying over as a, you know me, gets the fastest lap into the 130s, and another guy gets into the 1 minute 30s, so obviously four steps quicker than us, but of course we're saving fuel by uh, already using it all up already, which is a little bit awkward for me, so bad Ryan, you shouldn't be doing that, but anyway, carrying on as we go, and uh, we've just got to keep that gap up to the Haas, and it's 2.1, so matched him in the first sector, but of course... This is where we gain all the time on him because our setup, the baseline set's actually quite good in this middle sector, which is mainly all corners and slow corners, which is good for this car, I have to say. And no, not, not many lockups as well, which I've got to say I'm impressed. But as you can see, we're now in lean. But look at the gap we've got already now to the Haas. That is a massive gap, which is something I don't really say in videos that you see from me because obviously I don't really win races as much online as I used to as well because I don't really get much time to play online with you guys but I want to try and do more of them in the future with some open lobbies on the YouTube side of things on streaming so there will be one at the weekend so make sure to check that out guys of course it's open so anyone can join as long as you have PC of course because that's the only platform I have at the minute with this game but uh, yeah it'll be great to do some races with you guys and I will be doing a mix of random open lobbies and also these ranked races because I want to just get a feel for what this is like racing against some noobs online and some dirty drivers and just see if we can win and do little challenges like this like running baseline setup as well as we get another fastest lap there from you know me into the one flat one minute 30 flats which is a second quicker than us but again as you can see we're saving the fuel completely 
which is not what we want. So there's a little bit of Deppy there, as actually the guy who sets the fastest lap has completely bottled it and has crashed out already. So he's given up already. He's got his fastest lap. That's his moment of glory done and dusted. As we're coming on to the last two sectors of this race, and I've got to say as well, a bit of a side note, but the graphics, apart from obviously looking a bit potato-y on my end, but overall the game looks absolutely beautiful with the skyline. Scenery as well with the weather looks absolutely beautiful. But at the minute here, we're just trying to take it easy there. Another perfect line there for us. I've got to say, I was very impressed actually watching this back. Going, that's a good line, Ryan. I'm very proud of you. But uh, anyway, coming into the final couple of corners we go then. And uh, we've got that gap up to where it should be for the, obviously with that penalty we had. So it looks like it's going to be a comfortable victory for us in our first race of the series. And uh, we actually gained time as well on our best lap, which is also good. But of course... We're going to pop it up there and we get our cheeky warning for track limits as well, which is odd. But you can see we've pulled five seconds on the Haas behind us as we come into the final corner. And it's going to be a victory in our first race of the series, guys, in ranked lobbies. Which is an achievement for me because I don't really win races online, as I mentioned. But we get the checkered flag and we get a PB as well. 130.6. Not quick, but it's decent for us. And we just about have enough errs as well to get across the line. But that is going to wrap things up then, guys, here today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to slap a like and subscribe as well. And also, feel free to leave a comment, guys, about what you want to see going forward with these open lobbies, guys, uh, in terms of a live stream of Race with the Subs. What concepts would you have? And what tracks would you like to see me do next in the ranked lobbies as well? But make sure to check out my social media and all sorts in the description below. And check out the Radicals online esports team who I drive for as well. But until next time, guys, have a fantastic day. And I will see you guys next time for a brand new video. Until then, have a good day, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Take care, guys, and see ya.